Now Plum. Time running low here. Score quickly and then probably foul them. Just can't waste time here. Connects! Kelsey and what a sensational bucket to bring them within one. And this is why Kelsey Plum was a former number one overall pick. Because she hits the big one. Allie Quigley. Now here's Vanderson. He's tightly guarded. And they foul intentionally. And they're going to have to do it again. They're not in the penalty yet. That took forever for them to commit that foul. I don't know why they didn't just do it right away. I mean, those are precious seconds they're giving away. Now a timeout called by Chicago. Vandersloot, and they go to the intentional foul. And that's just what they have to do in order to, to get that ball back. Yeah, to me, that's a good foul. Clock management, crucial at this time of the game. At the line for two. He hits the first one, and that will put them up two. Good person to have at the line for you because Courtney Vandersloot has been big in pretty much every big moment. So she gets them both and it's a three-point game. That last free throw was critical. Their only choice now is to go for the three to tie. Sydney Colson. Another tie and we're going to have a second overtime. We'll take a quick break and then get back to the action. And another overtime is in store for us. This one has been extremely tight, great action. Will fatigue play a factor now? That's the question. Wilson with it. Pass to Colson. Shoots the three. And the aces. Another three. Four three. Here's Vandersloot.
the wing, Kalia Copper. Chicago again missing. The Aces with the lead. Here's Williams. Again, Las Vegas. Williams. Well, Raquana Williams is a savvy veteran in this league. And she shows real poise and understanding in the screen and roll game. And so it's Chicago with it. Pass to Parker. And here is Misamon. Got a piece of it. Down low. And the ball out of play. The skywalker. Boy, did they ever make a mess out of that one. A terrible turnover. Here's Quigley. And here is Vandersloot. Outside Quigley. Fires for three. Rebound by the Aces. They're moving it up. We've just seen them make mistakes on back-to-back -back trips. Both those turnovers could have been easily avoided if they had just played smart basketball. Absolutely, bro. They need to play smarter. They've got to get a tighter handle on the ball. Anders Lute outside. Pass to Quigley. Parker with the ball. Here's Copper. And once again, off the mark by Chicago. And they have certainly been looking locked in offensively. They sure have, staying aggressive and playing in control. Here's Colson. Sinks the three-pointer. And their lead takes another little bump up. Yeah, their lead is increasing, and they've got to be feeling better and better about the way this game is playing out. They really want to find that igniter here. That's right, their offense is round to a standstill. Maybe you need to suit up, Tim. They need a spark. Throwing up ill advised threes isn't how to close this gap. Got to get a better shot than that. Now here's Parker. She's guarded by Plum. They grab their own miss. Here's Copper. Their offense stone cold. Another miss there. Guarded by Quigley, and that one drops for Well, they're hot, guys, and they're really hot. They can't miss. Sometimes an individual will go on a shooting tear like this, but a whole team? This is special, Brian. Now a timeout called by Chicago. Parker. To halt the run. And that's two points on the layup. Well into her 30s. Parker still has the flash to her game. Still, she's one of the most feared players in the WNBA. Here's Williams. To the inside. Olsen. 
And here they come. Here's Copper. And here's Allie Quigley outside. It doesn't go for her. And Las Vegas the other way now. Pass to Plum. Throws it up high. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Good work there as it goes. So much work has gone into her game to become an all-star. Quigley's most improved skill, handle. It's helped her immensely. Now Colson. And she commits the intentional foul. Second personal foul. First team foul. Here's Wilson. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And they're getting that lead way up there by now. It should be easy for them the rest of the way. Yeah, and at this late stage of a game, a lead like that has a team feeling awfully good. And the other one bad. Here's Copper. And a miss there on the triple. As she's been struggling big time in this quarter, guys. She really has tightened up. I'm just not seeing any flow to her game right now. Their comeback hopes are uh, out the window, I think it's safe to say. Yeah, out the window, and the window has been closed. It's a done deal at this point. Let's get home. Quigley's shot is off. And the ball out of play, the sky will happen. Time called here, the sky decided to talk it over. Your thoughts, guys? They can uh, game plan all they want in the huddle, but unless they put more time on the clock, this one's over. Yeah, I don't know what they think they can accomplish with this timeout. Maybe a drink of water? Misses the three, and she used the pump fake well there, but you know, couldn't capitalize. Out of bounds, it'll go to the sky. And they've done it. The Las That's Vegas the Aces game. have won the WNBA championship. Like they've done it. They've won it all. all. Sacrifice, the workout, and drive home time safely. to the gym, it has all paid off. What a feeling it is to even get to the finals, but to win it too, it's just a feeling I'm sure they will never forget. Congrats. Winning a championship is the pinnacle of anyone's career. We all dream of it, but to do it in the best league in the world, it's just got to be the crowning achievement athletically for a lot of the players out there. So I'm going to say just enjoy it. It's the toughest thing to do in sports, win your last game. And so that'll do it for us tonight and for the entire WNBA season. What a finals this has been. Until next season, I'm Blake Suniga, along with Brian Banifatemi and Tim Swartz, and we'll see you later in a few months. Good night.